segments of the show which is real roll call and the reason I like it is because it's quick fast even though I don't time it like Jared does <laughs> uh quick fast just your quick response to what's what's brought up so just first thing in mind just say it and we're good we'll keep it moving okay we only have two topics today which is odd we normally have like three four this is why we did this segment so that we would have time to talk about all these things but that's okay um, so the Warriors owner states nobody cares about, again, I'm horrible with saying names, it's Yugus, why, yeah, that, mm -hmm, in China, um, on a podcast last week. Should he or should he have, should he have said that or shouldn't he have said that? Yeah, so I think, I think first it's important to identify him as a minority owner for the Warriors. Like, I mean, I think yes. he owns like 2% or something. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think yeah, he's yeah. <laughs> a very important fact. Um, but yeah, I think his name's Chamath. I don't know how to say his, or Chamath. See, I, that's why I don't say that. It's, it, it's it's Chamath. I don't know how to say his Chamath. last name. Okay. Um, but no, this was absolutely like an open mouth insert foot. Like that was one of those <laughs> moments. Um, but I mean, he's a CEO of Social Capital. Um, and their mission statement, so, you know, says something about advancing humanity and things like that. Um, like that is the direct mission statement from their website and solving the world's hardest problems, right? Well, we're talking about genocide across <laughs> the globe. And I obviously genocide is probably one of the most one of the worst heinous human, right? <laughs> yeah. right. One and, of and so yeah. obviously nothing that he said aligned with um, oh, gosh. that mission statement, but yeah. It, it was it, it would be one thing to hint to that but if you listen to the podcast if you watch the way he said it i mean he essentially says bottom line what's going on in china is below me it's not even on my radar nobody cares he's i mean that's, that's exactly it. What he said. nobody cares mm -hmm. which is just bizarre you know and, and i get it he was trying to hint to the fact that he uh, you know has invested more time in the issues that right. we deal with domestically and that's admirable and i think if he would have gone about saying it that way like oh you know that's yeah that's i mean if, if he was just like you know i am worried about the inflation rates and other domestic problems and just left it at that fine but the way he went about it, it like i said and i'm sure looking back at it now he certainly regrets it Regret. absolutely <laughs> um so no he should he you know he's obviously entitled to that opinion but he shouldn't have um illustrated it in the way that he did yeah no i mean and and obviously we we live in <clears throat> a world where it's we're quite frankly we're very self-absorbed and in 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 the u.s especially we are we're very self-absorbed and so this is why people around the world look at us the way that they do they feel that way about us because of statements like this and so you hit it dead on the i think he was he was i don't think his intention I don't think the his opinion sounds harsher than I think his intention was in saying that he was just making the uh, I think an overly dramatic point about his passion for the things that are happening domestically and, and like you said just say it different say that don't 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 bring them in it because he, and then I didn't even know that part so you went and did research I didn't even know that that's what his mission said. You just really, can we say your foot is all the way back down into yes. your body and about to come back out as a foot again for how far <laughs> yes. Because that is horrible. Yes. <laughs> this is the, the tone in the, in the statement you, oh, horrible. Anyway, okay, next. Now we're wondering, so A.B., this is Antonio Brown for people who don't know AB. Um, <clears throat> this is going on and on, okay? Uh, but now, so Jared brought this to story to me um, as well because he's asking, he asked me the question. He said, is AB really in need of help or is he just at this point trolling? Like, is he just cloud chasing? I mean, he doesn't need to, but <laughs> is he taking on this, persona of 
bad boy kind of in order to be seen, be more seen or to stay relevant. I mean, now that you're not playing football and you probably won't be on anybody's football team, let's just be clear. Um, is this your like claim to fame kind of thing? And, and so I put here, I remember this was Dennis Rodman back in the day. You're too young for this. But Dennis Rodman back in the day, um, this was him. He, you, you watch this, this metamorphosis happen in him. Like he was always a kind of eccentric person. But right. when he when he started coloring his hair and wearing all this, you know, wearing the piercings and which was back then, people were like, what is happening? Because this wasn't normal. Nowadays, you see it all the time, people's freedom of expression, and that's beautiful and I love it. But back then, people were like, what is happening? He's got on a skirt or, you know, that kind of thing. And so I feel like I'm wondering if this is not the route that AB is going right now. and. Um, I'm of course have said from the beginning, even if, even if this is his, in his mind, his intention, I still feel like he needs help. Yeah, I, I, I think he recently said, um, on, was I am athlete, I think. Yes. He, he basically made an appearance there and was like, there's nothing wrong with my mental health. And to me, that's what something somebody with mental health issues says about their own mental health hey, uh, <laughs> all got issues like no <laughs> right right um no. so i mean i, I don't know i don't want to obviously i don't want to insert myself into a yeah. live and, and assume um what he might be going through because obviously i think the the stigma surrounding mental health is still very real and yes. prevalent um you know as, especially among men um however and african-american men especially. exactly absolutely yes. And, um, you know, I think Antonio Brown has always been the guy who loves attention. Yeah. Uh, and, and so, um, you know, could this just be him staying in Antonio the public Brown. eye? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, I will say if what he, if what his side of the story in Tampa Bay, if that is what happened, then he has every right to be frustrated. He has every right to protect his body. Um, and if he felt like he was not in a space where that was prioritized, um, mm -hmm. like I said, his frustrations are valid. Um, does that warrant the reaction that, you know, we saw That's from him? That's where the mental no. health part comes in. Like you're not handling the situation yes. in a like I think that's what Brandon Marshall, because I saw this, mm -hmm. this this clip from I Am Athlete. I think that's what Brandon Marshall was trying to convey to him like I think it was the way it was handled sure. not not that we're like dis, discounting your feelings or what you thought it's just the way it got handled and that seems very like very like mental health challenge to me in the way it was handled you're a professional athlete I don't care I'll just go sit out on the on the sideline never open your mouth again don't get up till it's time for the game to be over but to do it in antics the way that you did it that's the part that makes me wonder like i reached out to him I, we had this i had this conversation jared's last show we talked about it because jared was the one that encouraged me because i felt so heavy in my spirit like with him and just i was like oh my god this dude is spiraling out of control and i said and i reached out i was like hey if there's anything i can do i'm here to help and I think he's offended by stuff like that because he feels like I don't need help. I'm good. But, but like you just said, it's typically the people who need it <laughs> who are always harping on that they don't. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's the drug addict who always like, I don't need help. I'm good. I can handle this. Or you know, it's right. just so. I don't know. I don't know. I just I'm I'm tired of it. I know that. Yeah, I think it, like we ask, we have to ask ourselves like. Would, did we expect any other reaction from him? No. Like, I mean, we, like, did we expect Antonio Brown to sit on the bench quietly? No. Um, like I said, I think, I think he's always kind of looking for that attention. However, I will say if we, if we listen to guys like Tom Brady, guys like who know him better than he probably knows himself, mm -hmm. you know, Tom, I mean, without saying he needs help, Tom, you can, you can, you can hear Tom Brady's concern for the guy, yeah. you know, and you're saying, you know, we just need to love him through this type thing. And so that points to maybe some underlying issues that um, others are seeing in him. Yeah. So, Absolutely. I mean, I, I don't know. 
<laughs> it, 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 I really don't know. Like I said, I, I hate want it to be over. I want him to go get whatever he needs. I want him to be happy. Mm -hmm. That's what I want. That's what I want. I need yep. everybody to. I need him to. You know, to get some peace in his spirit and be and and be comfortable with him wherever he is, whatever he's got, wherever he is now. Like not where you want to be, where you hope to be, where you were. Like right here today. I want you to just be good. Yep. That's my whole goal. Be good. So um, either way, I still extend myself to you, Antonio Brown, if you just happen to see this, that hey, I'm here because I'm not, and I'm not a, I'm not a health, mental health professional. So <laughs> it's not about that. It's from a behavioral health side and, and whatever, you know, we can do to help you from that side, all here, all for you. And genuinely and sincerely mean that. Now put the cameras on me, 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 put the cameras on me.